loading that big truck up to take rock up there to the up on the road where they can shove it in the hole look at him he's shoving it in the hole ain't that something Wow. I would think they need to be wetting it down and packing it with something bigger than a bobcat. I, they wouldn't let me get away with doing that on some of the jobs I was on. That would have to be even hand tamped on the sides of it as it was coming up. Not that I'm trying to start no mess saying that they didn't do it right. But, uh, man, it's got to be packed. I guess get, when they get up a little higher, they'll pack it. I see a Vita pack. Uh, let me show you what I'm, when I say Vita pack, what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that machine, that machine right there. Uh, they need that up on top, packing it. So I don't know why they ain't doing it. But like I said, I'm not here to make start a mess or say they're doing it wrong it's just the projects that i was on we always had to especially when it come to a state highway it always had to be right and i've done box coverts i've done these kinds of bridges and things and man we had to hand tamp it you know with a machine but and then use that vita pack and uh, bring it up in lifts of six inches eight inches or a foot and just pack the mess out of it, mix water, you know, spray it with water, get it wet and pack it even more. And then they'd do a density test, like a nuclear density test, to see what the pack compaction was. But, like I say, they still got a long way to go up before they get to the highway level. You can see the guardrail. That's how high they got to get up. Fill that whole gap in. All right, I'm on stop for right now.